So this racetrack has seen a lot of incredible horses through the years, but there's definitely one who's arguably the greatest of all time. And this year, we're celebrating Secretariat. It's the 50th anniversary of his Triple Crown winning and his records. They've still never been broken, and they might not ever be broken. He would just knock your socks off watching him run. Secretariat, America's horse. He's more than just a great racehorse. Secretariat, the super horse. All of the ingredients for greatness. Secretariat, Penny Chenery's horse. He had the intelligence and personal character. Okay, more like esteemed family member as her son John Tweedy remembers it. She was his owner, but really he owned her. You don't own the greatest equine athlete in history. Big Red's enlarged heart was credited for his superior cardiovascular ability. The average equine heart's about nine pounds and his was 22. And the thoroughbred's strong physique evident in his strides down the track. Best horse who ever ran. But it was his undeniable spirit that captivated America. Especially by the time he'd won the Triple Crown, he was very aware of his own charisma, his own presence, his own achievements. His family knew it too. So Secretariat guided himself. Uh, as much as Ron Turcott guided him. And jockey Ron Turcott awestruck from the beginning. You know, it was just amazing, something that people don't see. You know, it was like a machine, really. The announcer, I, I heard him say, you know, Secretary is moving now, he's putting a lens in front. Secretary is moving like a tremendous machine. And that's exactly uh, how he felt. Secretariat's legacy is marked in the sports history books, but his story in the 1970s was something for everyone to celebrate. What people don't remember at the time, I mean, that was 1973. Watergate was just getting going. Uh, the Vietnam War was still going on. Uh, America was sort of looking for a hero. Uh, and I think Secretariat became a hero to a lot of people. America's hero. So what do the WDRB experts say? Will Secretariat's records ever be broken? It's possible, but I think it's unlikely. I mean, that's been 50 years. So we've had a lot of really good horses since then. We've had even a couple of Triple Crown winners in the last decade, and they haven't been able to do it. WDRB's Eric Crawford points to the difference in modern training. Back in Secretariat's time, horses ran a lot more races. They came into this race a lot more seasoned. Uh, now they come in with maybe five, six races that they've ever run. I'd be surprised if that mark gets broken. Secretariat, one of just two derby winners that crossed the finish line of the most exciting two minutes in sports in under two minutes. He became forever the super horse that all the modern uh, thoroughbreds are compared to. Secretariat's time, one minute, 59 seconds and two fifths, which is 159.4 by modern standards. The closest thoroughbred to his derby time was the horse two and a half lengths behind him, Sham at 159.9. A lot of people, including some of the trainers, said that Secretary just broke his heart. Fast forward nearly 30 years, in 2001, Monarcos also broke the two-minute mark, but just barely at 159.97. It used to be very unfair to young horses because they'd say, he's the next Secretary, and he's the next Secretary, and then they'd be really good horses, but, and you'd consider them a disappointment. Well, they really weren't disappointments because there's only one Secretary. There's only one. The one and only. With photojournalist Frank Stamper, Monica Harkins, WDRB News. That's it's so, cool. <laughs> it's so true. There's really one and only. It is. And I love how his story, it's just so generational, right? Like everyone knows that our grandparents, our parents, us, our children, like his record's going to stay. And that's what this year at the Derby was all about, is making mm -hmm. sure his memory is passed down from generation to generation. Absolutely. I love that story. Really cool.